Hola! Today's video is going to be about custom imports, both images and objects. To bring in a custom import, you'll need to be in build mode. So select your little chair to bring that up, and you'll see all of your custom imports in one little section right here. If you happen to be in a different tab, you can find them in the custom tab. So you grab whichever custom item you want, drop it into your scene, click on it, and you'll have this little custom token with the import button. Click on the import button, navigate to where you have your images saved, they can be JPEGs or PNGs, and select which one you want to be imported onto your sign. They all work in a very similar fashion. So you can have flags. You can also have a flat map that you can bring in. You can also turn it on the side if you want to. But it's also handy for just bringing in and then enlarging to either build on top of or just play directly on top of it. And it can be slid around wherever you need it to be. Also have various posters. And after you bring them in, of course, they can be resized and spun just like any other object. So if you wanted this on a wall, pretty simple to put it on a wall, just however you need. And we also have the cutout. Cutout is best used with uh, PNGs with transparency. So as long as you have one of those, it will actually preserve the transparency and give you a critter. Now note that these typically will uh, stay flat on to the view of the camera. That way you don't get sideways to them and have them turned into a line that you can't tell what exactly they are. You can just bring them in also as a transparent image. That will stay just as it is. So it'll allow you to make decals, slap them on walls somewhere, uh, make specialty signs. For instance, you could have this hung over the bar sign here as if it was part of it. Like that. We also have the custom mesh importer works with OBJ files with one texture. Works very similar to the other where you bring in your object. It might start out small. You may have to increase it in size. And then you bring in its texture. And last but not least, we have the Hero Forge token importer. And in that one, you use the 3D VTT download from Hero Forge, one that ends in Unity 3D. And you can bring them right in to the game. Now, when you're in Hero Forge, the file type you want, if you click on Cart and open the Buy menu, is going to be the one down at the bottom, 3D Digital. 
be sure to finalize your character before you buy it. You can't go back and change it later and then re-download it. Once you buy it and download it, that is the exact type of model that you're going to get. So if I want to change this character out to have two guns instead, after I purchase this one, I would have to repurchase her after putting another gun in her other hand. So be sure you have your model just how you like it, and then purchase the 3D digital version. This is the one that works with online games. It's the type that actually retains the paint job that you put on it. The STL download is digital as well. It is not the version you want. You'll notice it is a flat color. It will not come in with your colors, and it has a little too many polys to be good to use in most games. So 3D digital at the bottom. There's your custom importing. Nice and simple. Have fun, build often.